Did you ever have to deal with a stubborn person in order to convince a stubborn person of something that you wanted to do and there was no way of them changing their ideas? God Himself had to deal with stubborn people and He has to deal with us. Are we stubborn? Are any of us stubborn towards God's will? Let us meditate together on today's liturgy. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria! On this fourth week, Thursday of the fourth week of Lent, we have God presenting to us ways in which He wants to soften our heart. He wants to take away stubbornness. In the first reading of Exodus, Moses, he was up on the mount. He came down and he saw that the people had deviated. They had brought out the gods that they had taken from Egypt, idolatry, and he sees that they have gone totally astray. Their hearts have been warped. And what does he do? He sees that God is upset. God wants to destroy the people and he intercedes. He says, let's give them another chance. Let's, let's, and he prays to the Lord not to destroy the people. He wants to give them another chance. He relents in punishing the people and he receives another chance from God. In the Gospel, we have St. John discussing with the Jews and of course, he says, listen, you're not accepting me. My testimony, my witness is God Himself. It's not an earthly testimony and they seem to be very, very stubborn. And He says that they're going to be judged. They're going to be judged because they consider Moses, they consider Moses as their guide. But Moses had predicted about our Lord Jesus Christ. But if you do not believe his writings, Moses, how will you believe in my words? And so we see in today's liturgy the stubbornness of the hearts of those Jews who had left Egypt wanting to go back to the idolatry and their hearts were stubborn. In the second re in reading, or the, rather the Gospel, we have St. John discussing with them, saying that they have to be coherent, that they should pay attention, and that they should accept the testimony that he gives. Once a naturalist historian observed something very interesting, that elephants, where he lived, they would go down to the ponds to quench their thirst. And the first thing they would do was to put their trunk into the water and bring up the mud and make the water smirky. If they couldn't and saw the reflection, they would run off. And that's what happens with us many times. If we look to ourselves calmly, and especially in Lent, that's a perfect moment for analyzing our sins and our situation, our stubbornness before God's Word, and we flee. We don't want to correct our stubbornness. That's what the Jews were doing. Let's take that lesson that when the Word of God, when something touches our heart that we confront and we ask for the grace in order to transform our hearts into docility. The one who will accuse you is Moses in whom you have placed your hope. Let us never harden our heart so that a prophet or a saint or an angel accuse us but that we may be seen upright, righteous before God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Please don't forget to share, like, and comment. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.